Semen retention in the long term inevitably leads to success. Semen retention changes your position in people's projected social hierarchy as gradually you develop and your newfound competence becomes undeniable. For many, semen retention becomes the catalyst for a deep transformation of the self. Seeing this transformative power is oftentimes quite extraordinary. People around you will have to come to terms with your ascent. This is a hard pill to swallow for many close to you, particularly those that are within or hovering close around your perceived social status or rank. People don't like to have their sense of reality challenged and your journey of transformation is threatening the very fabric of their existence. When someone who viewed you as equal or slightly lower to them sees you develop at a faster pace, it can have a very strong impact on their sense of self. It can make others essentially question their own place in life. The raising of your value, attractiveness and position can feel like a personal attack on their identity. People form much of their own identities based on their position to others and map out a rough spot of where they stand in this world in relation to those around them. Alan Watts said, Every this goes with every that. Without others there is no self, and without somewhere else there is no here, so that, in this sense, self is other and here is there. Everybody around us is giving us a frame of reference to ourselves. To see someone succeed can enhance our own feelings of failure. To see someone become more attractive enhances our own lack of attractiveness. We are not individuals, but parts to a whole, and when other parts of this whole exceed our own performance, it reflects badly on our sense of self-worth. The co-worker or friend seeing you succeed may feel personally threatened by your actions. Your success has brought to attention their own lack thereof. People may even feel motivated to pull you down for this reason. This is widely known as the crab mentality. This way of seeing the world is ingrained to some extent in all of us and it is inevitable that we will face this at some point in our journey. The light of others can feel like it is outshining our own light. Being aware of this phenomenon should allow us not to take the negative actions and behaviors of others seriously at all. It is not personal. Remember the you that exists in other people's minds is not the you at all. It is a separate character that they have formed based on a shadow of you. They may villainize or pedestalize that character at any time, and you should know it bears no relation to your existence. They are living in their own universe, playing their own game. Don't get involved in their universe. Realize it's a separate and unaccessible dimension from where you exist in. Everybody wants the acclaim, the success, the glory, but most are not prepared to sacrifice anything for it. Seeing someone like you is a cold reminder of their own shortcomings. It is not about you, it is about them, and them dealing with their own deep sense of dissatisfaction and helplessness in life. Any unwarranted attack on you is a one-sided argument the attacker is having with his own ego. No need to get involved. No emotional response needed. They are screaming at a character on a TV screen inside of a universe that you don't even inhabit. Let it go.